You're right, it's William Wallace, $15,000. Now, when we come back, Ben Silla votes for $32,000. Don't go away. Oh, that's a, that's a lovely vase. That's great. Let me guess, Jack. Is that one of your little secret cameras, too? Huh? Greg, Greg, that's an urn which holds the remains of Jack's mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. One of the big hits of last year, Meet the Parents, Ben Stiller and Robert De Niro. Now, when you first heard you were going to make this movie with, uh, with Robert De Niro, and it was a comedy, what were your thoughts? Um, I was surprised he would he agree to do it mm -hmm. with yeah. me. Because I, 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 you know, I, they said, actually, when they talked to me about it, they said, um, well, if you, do, if we, you know, we have this movie, would you do it with Robert De Niro? I was like, yeah, I'll do it with Robert De Niro. Sure. If you can get him. Yeah. And they got him. And they got him, and, and he was darn good. He's in, hilarious. In he has yeah. a great sense of comedy, sense of humor, and great timing. timing. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. Is there going to be a sequel to that movie? They're talking about it. Uh, they have a title, Meet the Fockers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was your name in the movie, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, let's hope it gets made. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I want to tell you how conscientious Ben Stiller is. All today, all this morning, Ben was working there at the CD-ROM game version of, uh, yeah. of the show. And, and how did you do? I got up to uh, the million dollar question. Did you really? Yeah, and then I walked away. <laughs> Took I did, I walked advice away. and walked yeah. away. Well, good. Let's hope you can get up okay. that far uh, right here. Right. So you've won 16000 You've got all of your lifelines. You're six away from the million. Going for $32,000 right now, Ben. Let's play. Here we go. Okay, Ben. Panda, Maple Leaf, and Cougaron are all types of what? Computers, guns, cards, gold coins. Well, I only, I only recognize the Krugerrand as a gold coin. Um, and I'm feeling that that's, you know, it feels to me like that's... And I don't have any um, Krugerrands in my gun collection, Reed. So, what does that so, tell you? It tells me that's probably D uh, gold coins. And does you want to make that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with that. Just won $32,000. Everybody, bye bye, everyone. Nice to have oh, you. Man. Now they're gone. It's just you. It's very ben. lonely now. It's Ben Stiller and his three lifelines going for sixty-four thousand oh. dollars, and here it comes. Which of these celebrities is pictured on the package of his organic cookies? Paul McCartney, Richard Simmons, Paul Newman, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um. It's, uh, well, I don't, I've never eaten Paul McCartney cookies. And, uh, Richard Simmons should lay off the cookies. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh... Doesn't need the cookies. Doesn't need the cookies. Doesn't need cookies, yeah. right? So I gotta say Paul Newman, see. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah. Paul Newman is... The right answer for 64 Okay. Jesse. Jesse. I wouldn't have known that much. Good going. As a matter of fact, they call those Fig Newmans. All right, here we go for one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, Ben. What famous piece of classical music is featured in the nineteen eighty film *Ordinary People*? The Rite of Spring. Pachelbel's Canon. Ode to Joy. And Enya Kleiner Nock Music. Which one, Ben? Wonderful pronunciation. Thank you. <laughs> can you give them to me again, please? No, no. It's all yours. You can see them. They're right there. Oh, Take boy. your pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a... Now, we have our lifelines here. Yeah, I know, we do. And uh, I have a pretty good 
feeling of what this is, but uh, I think I'm gonna. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to bomb out too early. All right, so, sure. So uh, I think I want to go and uh, ask the audience. All right, why don't we see how the audience feels about this? Audience, we need your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 45% go with Puckabell's Cannon, and the Rite of Spring and Ode to Joy came in almost in a tie for second. And what did you think it was? I thought it was Puckabell's Cannon. Did you? Yeah, that was my first instinct before it even came up. Um, so I'm going to just go with my gut on this one and say okay. Puckabell's Cannon. Final answer? Yeah. Yeah. Just what, 125 dollars has a chance to duplicate Edie Falco's success last night. She won a quarter million dollars for Project ALS, and Ben is going for $250,000 right now. Wouldn't it be great to give this organization at least a half million dollars? Ben, tell me, you're, you're the son of Ann Mira and Jerry Stiller. You watched them perform as you grew up. They must have had a tremendous influence on you and what you wanted to be, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. I mean, we just were around it all the time. They you were, and your sister would yeah, duplicate sister their act? And and yeah, we would do, uh, we would duplicate lots of people's acts. Mm -hmm. We would go, we would go to, like, do Broadway show musicals in the living room. And, and you had that little camera, you'd go around and make your own little, little film. I had a Super 8 camera, make little movies of us, and dressed up and, like, do Shakespeare with on my sister's tights. You, but you let's grew not, out of that, though, didn't yeah, you? Uh, yeah, eventually. <laughs> I was about 20. Yeah. But the breakthrough film that he made was uh, a little parody on The Color of Money. Yeah, I made a little short film takeoff on the movie The Color of Money with Paul Newman and Tom Cruise. Uh, when that movie came out, it was, and that was about pool, sure. that movie, and we did a little takeoff about bowling. Really? What yeah. did you do? Um, I just pretended I was Tom Cruise bowling. And, and you, uh, you went over to Staten Island? And <laughs> uh, we, we shot it in, uh, uh, on you know, the university lanes in, in Manhattan. And, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so we made the film. I made it with my own money, and then I sold it to Saturday Night Live, and they put it on as a short, and, uh, and then, that kind of broke, you know, and then eventually that kind of helped get me on as a writer on the show, and then, you know, then performing, happen. and here you are.